ladies and gentlemen. The young lady you just saw with the two young ladies, rather, were Irish line dancers. Uh, the story today is actually about the uh, black young lady who became a champion recently in, in this art form, which started in Ireland, as you can tell by the name. Uh, so I'm bringing you a story from NBC News. Actually, let's, let me kind of tap on it and read it for you. Uh, fair use, by the way, NBC News. Great story, by the way. I think you guys should go check it out. Everyone told me I was a natural. We're called the 15-year-old dancer, Amani Johnson. Okay, there you see her with her dancing mates uh, in her costumes. Uh, like I said, this is a pretty good story. You guys should check it out. Uh, she lives in Atlanta. In kindergarten, Amani Johnson's friends would show off their dance moves on the playground. Nimble steps and taps that made a pleasant pattern on the ground. This was Johnson's introduction to the Irish dance. At home, Johnson watched YouTube videos of dancers and intimate, I'm sorry, imitated their stuff. Arms, light-footed hops. She was so enthusiastic and persistent that in the third grade, her mother signed her up for lessons. The YouTube practice paid off. Everyone told me I was a natural, Johnson said. Now 15, an Atlanta resident, is one of the best Irish dancers in the country. She placed second in her age group in the U.S. now since 2021. Won her group in the southern regions in 2018 and 19 and has won local competitions than her mother can count. There she goes with her many trophies that she's won. Johnson is used to being one of the few black dancers at Irish dance competition. It was a bit challenging at first. I would want to see someone like me so I could have someone to relate to, she said. But as she got more involved in the scene, she found a few other dancers of colors who shared her passion. A mostly white world of big curly hair wigs, sparkly costumes, river dance leaps, and monster calves. Competitive Irish dance has become more diverse over the decade. When Lisa, oh, pardon me, ladies and gentlemen, this story is kind of moving up and down too fast for some reason. When Lisa Petrie started the Petrie School of Irish Dance on Long Island in 1991, people were calling and ask, do you have to be Irish to do Irish dancing? It's an understandable question given the uh, dancer's name, but stage shows like River Dance and Lord of the Dance popularized the form around the world, said Petrie, who is the president of Irish Dance Teachers Association of North America. There are now dance schools from China to Mexico. Hmm. In the U.S., people of color are making a name for themselves in the sport. Julia O'Work, who is half Filipino and half Irish, has won four dance world championships. Look how happy she looks, uh, you guys. Okay, the article kind of explains everything you need to know. I, I kind of want to show you guys the pictures. You see how in shape you have to be. The calves are very strong. It's a lot of step, and you're using your toes to do to uh, do uh, most of these dances, which builds your calf muscle. Still, some of the people outside the dance community aren't as accepting of the new stars. Where Morgan Bullock a black Irish dancer from Virginia went viral on TikTok in 2020. Her dance video choreographed the Megan Thee Stallion and Beyonce's Savage remix. Some, common, uh, some commoners accused her of cultural appropriation. There's that term again. The then 20-year-old college student shot back prescribing her years of dedication and practice. Though many students are right. It's kind of funny that they try to accuse her of cultural appropriation because we know in hip-hop dance, or we have the most appropriated coach in the world. I don't know. I think most of the time when um, non-blacks are using that word, I think uh, we had a time period where uh, black people kind of were overusing the term with almost anything, like just wearing the, our hairstyle would, uh, would give us, get us to say this term. So I think they kind of shoot, shoot it back at us, you know, a little quick pro quo, as they say. I would say probably over 70% of our dancers have no Irish connection whatsoever, said Emma Burke of Atlanta Irish Dance by Burke Connolly. The dance school Johnson trains in, I think it's true for a significant portion of Irish dance schools around the world. A vast majority of his people who have just fallen in love with the dance form. Johnson has served as inspiration for young dancers of colors. Now, that's pretty much the article. If you guys want to check out the whole article, I would suggest going to NBCnews.com and it, it'll give you a little bit more insight on the young lady and uh, her ups and downs in the uh, dance career. You can also Google. I saw many articles about actually many black girls who actually did this. This seemed to be a, a thing that they really enjoy. And just looking at the video, you see how talented she is.
very talented young lady. So this is a story where I didn't want to talk too much on it. I kind of just wanted to share her accomplishments, show you uh, her pictures, show you what the tropes is in. Go out and support the young lady. She's in the Atlanta area. You know, Atlanta's pretty good about uh, actually supporting uh, black people and black young ladies. So please check her out and check out the other ladies who do a line dancing. I, I love when we try new things. You know, obviously, like I said, stated earlier, we have a culture that's very appropriate. Everybody loves to uh, emulate us as far as uh, music concern and entertainment. It's time that we venture out and try new things and have fun. As long as we do it respectfully, which you can tell these young ladies are, they're just having fun with their friends, learning something new. Life is about uh, getting, gaining new experiences, meeting new people, making connections. That's how you grow. That's how you uh, get future network con uh, connections in the future. So I would suggest having a diverse group of friends and you know, learning new things. Nothing wrong with it. Let's step out your comfort zone, ladies and gentlemen. Like and subscribe. Uh, if you like what I the uh, content I produce, please uh, follow me for notifications. Push the notification button, and my cash shop is there on the banner. You guys, have a good day.